MacTech Genius here, and today we are taking a look at a neat device which allows you to connect and combine two 120 volt outlets equating to a powerful 240 volt power source. The Quick 220 makes Tesla charging a lot more feasible compared to a lone 120 volt outlet, which is significantly slower and inefficient. The Quick 220 nearly triples the charge rate and does not require the need for a costly installation and the painstaking permitting process associated with it. The Quick 220 is also perfect for road trips in the event the hotel lacks destination charging, allowing an overnight charge to be possible compared to several days. In the box, you get the Quick 220 itself, which is well-built, lightweight, and portable. Unfortunately, it is not weatherproof, so prolonged outdoor exposure is not recommended. While it can be resolved with the use of an extension cord, I still hope they release an outdoor enclosure. The instructions are simple and easy to follow. Everything is built in the U.S., and the support team is super responsive and familiar with Tesla. The device has all of the necessary regulatory qualifications, so it's safe to use. It also has a built-in circuit breaker. I had the 15 amp version, so mine is rated for 15 amps. They also have a 20 amp version, but that requires third-party adapters, so the Quick 220 team recommended the 15 amp model for simplicity and ease of setup. The wires are 14 gauge at 6 feet, they are flexible, and do not generate heat when charging at maximum amperage. They also include an outlet tester to make sure the outlet is wired correctly. In order for the Quick 220 to function, you need to connect each of the plugs into outlets located on different circuits. Residential homes receive 240 volts power that is split into 120 volts on the left and right side of the breaker. This step is mostly trial and error. You simply try various outlets until the light shines on the Quick 220. The Quick 220 monitors the power input and doesn't start the flow of power until everything is hooked up correctly. The included outlet tester verifies the outlet is wired correctly by shining two amber lights. It also has a GFI tester that you can push down for about 3 seconds and make sure nothing trips. Due to the nature of Quick 220, GFI outlets won't work, which can be an issue when looking for an outlet as you will primarily plug into a garage or outdoors. The older the house is, the better chance more standard non-GFI outlets will be available. My house is fairly new, but I still found that both of my garage door openers and force air units were not on GFI outlets, so I used those to power the Quick 220. The parking garages I went to also lacked GFI outlets, which allowed the Quick 220 to function without an issue. Once you test both outlets, you simply connect the Quick 220, and if everything is wired correctly, the light on the unit will shine indicated 240 volts. My voltmeter is also reporting that everything is working correctly. The unit also has its own circuit breaker, so you can shut off power easily. Here's my Quick 220 all wired up in the garage. I have it on the ladder for better lighting. Normally I use two extension cords to neatly run all of my wires. I have one end hooked up to the opener and the other to an outlet behind my force air unit using an extension cord. I would recommend a 12 gauge extension cord. I will have a link to it located in the description. You will also need the Tesla NEMA 615 adapter, which can be picked up on the Tesla web store or at a local service center. A link to that will also be in the description. Once you connect the mobile connector, you simply plug it into the car. But first, let me show you the charge rate of a standard 120 volt outlet. As you can see, I am getting a slow 2 mile per hour charge rate and it will take over 24 hours to juice up the rest of my battery. This is not only slow, but also inefficient as a decent amount of power is merely used to power the charger itself. With the Quick 220, I am receiving triple the speed at 6 miles per hour and I have seen it jump to 7 after leaving it hooked up for a while. The charge time is feasible for overnight purposes. If you drive under 120 miles per day, the Quick 220 is sufficient. I am getting a 3 kilowatt feed and the Tesla has no issues accepting the power source. As you know, the Tesla has one of the most advanced battery charging systems and after extensive use, it has no problems working with the Quick 220. If you are looking for a fast charge solution while you are on the go or a replacement to installing a costly 240 volt outlet, the Quick 220 is the perfect alternative. While it may not provide the full capable amperage associated with the outlet or Tesla wall connector, for most people the charging capacity of the Quick 220 is more than sufficient. Please let me know if you have any questions and if you like this video please like and subscribe for subsequent Tesla and Quick 220 videos. Pricing and additional information is located in the description and I will be having an extensive Tesla charging solution video released soon.